Hey, I'm Big Jeff from Big Jeff Online. I started all this out of the trunk of my car in Miami, Florida, selling security cameras and other things, and it grew into car audio, which has always been my passion. Always been my passion. I'm Big Jeff coming to you once again with another unboxing. We're here with Black Diamond Car Audio. Great brand, great price. Having some really good luck with this and some happy customers. Today we're going to talk about the DIA-EQ7LS. Wow, that was a mouthful. Basically, it is a EQ crossover. Let's open her up. Uh, you get a nice pamphlet, which we're going to go over the specs. Uh, inside here we are gonna have our half din size let's move that off you are gonna get two side brackets you have your power plug and some screws real simple pretty basic uh, let's take her out of the plastic BAM okay so First thing I want to say is that this is built-in line driver. For people that don't know what that is, it actually amplifies the output in the RCAs. Why would you want to do that? Well, better output, higher voltage of the RCAs, cleaner signal. Uh, you can also get more out of your amplifiers. So on the back here, you're going to have a power plug. That's going to be basic. Your 12 volt, your ground, and your remote turn on. Uh, on here, it's actually labeled. You have a input and you also have an auxiliary input, which is kind of cool. So if you do some RCAs there, you run them out, you can do a little 3.5 jack, plug it into your phone. Uh, people still use MP3 players, doesn't matter. Or if you're using an aftermarket head unit, you come out of there and you don't even need one with front, rear and sub, you just need one with a set of RCAs. You go into your main input and then guess what? You have three outputs. And this is set up for your subwoofers, rear and front. Okay, so where we're talking about the seven in the part number is for seven bands. Okay, so first thing I want you to notice is your first volume knob is the main, uh, uh, excuse me, main volume. So you have minimum and maximum. The second one is to actually control your subwoofer. So you, if you have a base knob, you don't need it anymore. You can do it all from here. And then the next one is your sub frequency, which this unit will go down to 45 Hertz and adjust all the way up to 120 Hertz. Next, you're gonna have your front and rear fading capability. And then you have your auxiliary button or your main. So you can actually switch back and forth from your head unit and to your auxiliary device. Now, let's talk about the bands. 50 Hertz, 125 Hertz, 315 Hertz, 750 Hertz, 2.2 kilohertz, 6 kilohertz, and 12 kilohertz. Whoa, what does all that mean? Okay, well basically music is lows, mids, and highs. And with this EQ, you can start at the lows and adjust up and down to increase the volume in the frequency range all the way up to your highs. So what does that mean? Well, if I want a little more bass heavy, I can adjust my 50 and even my 125 Hertz, be careful there. And then if I'm talking about my mid bass, I'm in my 300 and then I would kind of stop there. When you get to 750 Hertz and on up, you're in your uh, drivers and or your tweeters. So if you want it to be a little more sound, you would adjust that higher. And if you didn't want as much, you would turn that down. So basically you can go through and go ahead and touch your dials without having to go in a touch screen, go in EQ mode, flip it up and down and back and forth. You could do it right here and make it real easy. I did tell you that this does have a line driver built in. So let's open up the manual and get some more of these specs. Okie dokie. So we have already went in how this thing plugs in. We went over frequency range, but here, this is a high volt six channel output front rear is five volts and your subwoofer is eight volts whoa that's not bad for a really decently priced unit to have eight volts as an output to go to your subwoofer amplifier 
If you have multiple amplifiers, it's even better because if you split them up, it is gonna cut down on your voltage. This will also help you get your amp to a louder volume quicker and not be distorted. Let's look at some more information in here. We've already discussed how to hook it up. You need a ground wire, a 12 volt wire, and then the remote wire. That's what tells this thing to turn on and off. And we said you have your auxiliary input and your main input. Real simple. And then from your amplifiers, basically it's the same. You can run uh, up to three amps, or you could do a four channel and a subwoofer, whatever you want to do. And if you say, hey, Jeff, I only have two amps. I don't need the other. That's fine. You can hook up your subwoofer output and either your front or rear. This is a great model from Black Diamond. Uh, notice that it is a half din. What does that mean? What is a full din? What is a half din? Well, a full din is like your normal radio size, and that's why when you have your touchscreens, they're called double dins. There's two of them. Well, this is a half din, and some vehicles that give you a dim and a half, you could do your unit on top and this below it. Or you can just mount this up under the dash. You could do it in your glove compartment. You could do it in your armrest. Plenty of options uh, with the size. You can buy this at BigJeffAudio.com. Every order comes with some kind of freebie. We got flashlights, knives, gloves, cups. It goes on shirts, hats, beanies, so many things. We give away freebies with every order. We'd love to get your feedback so we can make these videos better and better. And uh, hopefully one day you might even get a message saying, hey, you just got a free surprise or a free giveaway or a free piece of equipment just for leaving that comment. Make sure you share this. I'm Big Jeff signing off. I'll see you soon.